What is up, Waffle Gang? I do hope you are well. My name is Mark, and today we're checking out some r slash Am I the Butthole? And if you love a Reddit story, why not consider hitting that subscribe button today, maybe that notification bell too, and if you're feeling extra spicy, you can also like the video. And with that being said, let's jump in to today's story. Now our first story we have read before but it now follows with an update. So if you heard it before and you want to use the timestamps, please feel free to use them. That's what they're there for. And it's from Redier Aches who says, Am I the asshole for ruining a pregnancy announcement by telling the woman she may have taken the wrong test? With update. Obligatory sorry for formatting. I'm on mobile and it's my first post on here. My husband and I, 30 male, 30 female, recently invited eight friends for lunch and we were asked if we could also include a new couple, Doug and Sasha, both 30s. We have never met them, but everyone who was invited has, so we said sure. At one point, Sasha needed to use the restroom and I told her to use the master since the other bathroom was occupied. I was helping my husband finish with food when Sasha came out the master bawling and holding something in her hand. At first I thought she hurt herself, but she said something to Doug that caused him to drop to his knees, cry, and begin kissing her stomach. All of our friends began screaming, jumping, and crying. It was insane. Finally, Sesha tells my husband and I that she is pregnant. Of course, we congratulate both. She and Doug gave them a bag for the test, their request. I will admit I did find it odd that she bought a pregnancy test and took it at a complete stranger's house, but I did not say that. Once everyone sat down to eat, Sasha said, OP, I hope you don't mind that I used one of your pregnancy tests. I just saw them and had to. I responded confused. I don't have pregnancy tests. Sasha says, yes, in your drawer. I asked Sasha if she meant the blue box in the back of my lower left drawer that was closed. She seemed to realize I was pointing out that she basically snooped and sheepishly said the box said pregnancy for pregnancy test. I said, Sasha, the brand is Pregmate and those are ovulation tests. I do not own pregnancy tests. Did you take an ovulation test? Doug freaked the absolute F out at me for saying his wife was an idiot and cannot read a box. He insisted Sasha get the test out and show me that I'm wrong. Sasha refused saying she didn't need to prove anything to a complete stranger and insisted they leave immediately. One of the couples thought Doug and Sasha acted ridiculous. The other three couples thought I should have pulled Sasha aside to discuss my concerns and said I was an asshole for saying something in front of everyone. Honestly, the whole situation caught me off guard and everything happened so quickly. The whole thing was bizarre and confusing. I just didn't have the time to put the pieces together mentally before asking about the ovulation tests. Also, I found out later through one of our friends that Sasha did take an ovulation test and she is not pregnant. And before we go to the update, we will cover some comments, but I remember originally coming into this one and thinking, yeah, the whole situation is just so bizarre and I can't blame you for being like caught off guard. This person was in your house, in your bathroom, snooping through your stuff and I can't blame you for acting the way you did. That in itself, going through your drawers is just not on and then walks out into a dinner uh, in a house where you don't really know the people who own it and then say, we're pregnant. And then Doug gets up and he's like, ah, kissing the stomach and all this sort of stuff. It just seems absolutely bizarre to me, the whole situation. And I don't blame you for going, oh, this, it was so quick. So you just went, Are you sh I ain't got pregnancy tests. What the hell are you talking about? So there's no way you're the asshole in this situation to me. But let's check out a couple of the comments before we go on to the update because I'm very interested to know what's going to happen. And VXG says, Not the asshole. I mean, who the fuck goes through another person's drawers and takes any kind of test? It's her comeuppance to have taken the wrong test and embarrassed herself. Serves her right. And user 10691 says, The only situation I could understand is if she unexpectedly started her period and had nothing on her. Literally the only acceptable situation to go through a stranger's bathroom drawers. This is insane. To snoop through someone's stuff, then take in something, admit to it, then get mad that you took the wrong thing and throw a tantrum. Edit, almost every response has missed my point. I'm saying if there was an acceptable reason to look through someone's bathroom. An unexpected period would be that reason. Not saying what's her face at her period. Obviously she didn't. 
edit to far out. I'm not saying to go rifling through anyone's bathroom every time you get your period, but if someone was at my house and came to me and said, hey, I'm really sorry, but emergency, I would be okay with it. I'm not saying everyone else has to be either. Marianne the 666 says, not the arsehole. Who the fuck snoops around a bathroom and decides to take a pregnancy test with someone else's supplies in the first place? Honestly, I think that obnoxious snoop got precisely what she deserved when you told her what she actually done. Sounds like Doug and Sasha don't belong on anyone's guest list. Nevertheless, the scent says not the arsehole. What kind of person snoops through someone else's bathroom to take a pregnancy test at a dinner party hosted by strangers? They got the attention that they wanted. Liver Love says, not the arsehole. It's weird to immediately announce a pregnancy like that after just an at-home test. People wait three months for a reason. Nothing about this situation isn't weird. And one more from a deleted user who said, not the arsehole. Doug and Sasha are the type that would announce a pregnancy at someone else's rehearsal dinner. Perhaps you should have pulled Sasha aside, but honestly, nobody can blame you for boggling at the asininity of it all. So, edit to add the update. I do not meet the criteria for a standalone update, and I'm not sure if anyone will see this in case anyone does. First, let me thank anyone who took the time to read, comment, or give an award. I am very, very, very grateful for the feedback. Based on the responses, today I called up one of my friends who was present and took Doug and Sasha's side, and basically told her I was owed an explanation for what the fuck happened. Here is what I found out. Apparently, my friends have known Doug and Sasha for much longer than I realized. This is strange because they've never talked about them before this. Doug constantly brings up wanting to have a baby every time they see him. One night, Sasha confided in the woman that Doug divorced his first wife because she was old and infertile. She was the same age as Doug. Doug married Sasha because she was young and fertilized. Ugh. Sasha heard him tell this to some friends. At that point, Doug and Sasha had been trying to conceive for over a year, and Sasha was concerned that Doug was going to leave her. They, the woman in my friend group, tried to convince Sasha that this is not a healthy relationship, but she insisted she was happy and just needed to get pregnant. They gave her the courage to seek medical assistance, which she had previously been scared to do. Sasha ended up getting prescribed fertility meds at her appointment and was scared to test with Doug, so they told her they would come to her house to be with her when she tested and be a support system for her. The day Doug and Sasha were at my house was after Sasha's first round of meds and she was in the window to test. She had not planned on testing but had a light bulb moment when I told her to use my bathroom. Sasha only took the test and did not steal anything. When the test came back with two lines, Sasha was in shock and immediately wanted to share with her husband and support system. Doug was mortified by the ordeal and Doug and Sasha had been fighting a lot. Sasha has been bad mouthing me to anyone who will listen. She believes I ruined her marriage and embarrassed her and Doug because my husband and I were threatened by Doug and Sasha and the friendship they were building. Sasha told my girlfriend they wouldn't spend time with me anymore because who can be friends with someone who treats a guest in their own home that way? My friends felt they had to take Sasha's side in the moment because they knew how important the pregnancy was to her marriage. I'm back on good terms with my friends. Also, yes, my husband and I have been privately trying to get pregnant. I'm pissed that now my friends are aware. Thank you to my fellow TTCers, is that trying to conceive us? Past and present, who mentioned this invasion of privacy or gave well wishes. You all touched my heart. Now, what do you guys make of this story? Now, what do you think about the update that's been added to it as well? <laughs> let us know your thoughts in the comments below and let's move on to another story. And our next story comes from a throwaway account titled, Am I the asshole for not speaking to my boyfriend until he explains why he's moving things around? A little backstory is we have been living together for seven months now. I've never noticed any other weird behavior, but it's honestly driving me crazy. Anyway, onto the story. My 24 female boyfriend, A, 26 male, has been moving stuff around any room in the house for about four months now. At first, it started with small things like the toothpaste lid being open after I remember closing it or my clothes moving out of the hamper. I asked A if he noticed anything weird and he just shrugged me off and said I was probably just seeing things. After the first conversation, it cooled down and nothing seemed out of place, but then I started finding clothes I had put away on the floor or the bed I had made undone. I started to quietly snoop around the house after I cleaned up to see if I could maybe catch him in the act. 
I never found him doing anything, but if I'd quietly walk into a room, he would be really jumpy. The bed was a continuous one, so one day I was fed up and decided to put my phone in our bedroom and leave it recording. I made the bed and told A I was going to the store. I went and sat in my car for 10 minutes and when I came back, the bed was unmade. I confronted A about this before watching the footage. He said I was crazy and I told him about the phone. He got up and started yelling in my face about how I set him up and that I won't find anything. He's never used this type of anger or language on me before, so I was honestly scared and confused. I went and grabbed the phone and lo and behold, there he is unmaking the bed. I showed him the footage and he screamed that I was a crazy bitch and stormed out. A came back a couple of hours later trying to apologize. I asked him why he was messing with me for months and led me to believe I was crazy in that and he said that this was the only time he's done it as he knows it's been bothering me and he thought it'd be funny. I asked him why he didn't just say that instead of just blowing up on me and denying it. I then told him until he tells me the truth and that he's obviously been doing this for months, I'll be staying at my mum's and I will not be speaking to him. Now, this is the clearest type of gaslighting we've probably seen here before. And the fact that when he was confronted, he calls you a crazy bitch, then storms out. Hell, I'll be out of there. Out of there. But I, I do wonder why. Why is he doing this? Is he trying to purposely break up the relationship or is there something else going on? Definitely not the arsehole to me, but Holdfast says, not the arsehole. This sub loves talking about people being gaslighted, whether it's true or not, but this is actually it. He's gaslighting you and blowing up when he gets caught and then doubling down with more gaslighting. This is unreal. Stay away from this guy. Kano B says, if this is not made up, you really have to get the fuck out of that relationship immediately and never look back. That's not a red flag. That's a chainsaw and a hockey mask. Not the asshole. To which OP replies saying, I wish I could make this up. I felt crazy that I was being harsh because maybe it was just a weird quirk or something. But after reading these responses, I think I'm going to stay at mum's permanently. Say a song says, OP, this is the most classic definition of gaslighting purposely changing the environment and then telling you that you're wrong when you notice it or that you must have misremembered or something and he did it for months because he thought it would be funny to him then to make matters worse when you caught him and called him out on it instead of admitting to his supposed joke slash prank and apologizing he first denied it again and then yelled at you and blamed you for setting him up ridiculous as you didn't ask him to do any of this and there would not have been anything to catch it had he not done any of this to begin with he set himself up then got angry he got caught and took the anger out on you eta this can cause ptsd i know because my former co-worker and later boss did this to me he would move and rename electronic images and files so i couldn't find them try to tell me i didn't turn things over to him that i had etc he even got his assistant to help in it and didn't get officially called out until she quit and he tried to convince her replacement to help. But the replacement went to our then boss and told him everything. And even though I caught onto it very early on, it went on long enough and caused me so much stress, anxiety and depression that it drove me to forever question whether all future co-workers were also pulling these stunts behind my back. It is one of these things that eventually led to me becoming unable to work. Obviously, he did not and does not care about how this affected you or hurt you. He was acting maliciously. You give him the silent treatment until he is honest. It is not the action you need to take. The action you should take is either kicking him out, if it is your place mainly, or moving out yourself, if it is his place mainly. This is a serious issue, and at the very least, until he agrees to get some therapy for it, as well as going to couples counseling with you at the same time, you should not be residing under the same roof. But honestly, I don't think you should even bother with that. I think he has shown you the type of person he truly is. And you should listen and kick him completely out of your life for your own mental and emotional safety and well-being. Flashly says, my ex-husband did shit like this, caused me to have a mental breakdown. Couldn't differentiate between reality and make belief. Nine days in a psych ward, a divorce and a shit ton of therapy, and I'm okay now. 10 out of 10 would not recommend. Please, get out before it gets worse. Not the arsehole. Now, what do you guys make of this one? As everyone said in those comments, it's clear gaslighting, but do you think OP should just get out of that relationship? Just cut ties immediately? Or is there a way through it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and we'll move on to the next story.
And our next story comes from Thanksgiving Am I the Arsehole, titled Am I the Arsehole for Telling My Husband's Co-Workers the Truth About Why He Is Always Late for Work. Ever since my female 33 husband, male 37, began working for this company, he became good friends with his co-workers. His boss though is the strict type who doesn't tolerate being late for work, which is something my husband is guilty of and constantly gets in trouble for. He is not a morning person and hates waking up early, always did. I've taken it upon myself to wake him up since his job was literally at jeopardy for constantly being late. Every morning is an absolute nightmare. He stay in bed till 7.30, he refuses to wake up. He gets so aggressive, he'd knock off the alarm clock, push his phone off the nightstand, put the pillow over his head, literally scream, go away, I'm trying to get some sleep, you such and such, when I try to wake him up. I try everything from shouting to removing the pillow and sheets, to shaking him, to tickling, to spraying him with water, and he'd wake up eventually, but in a very bad mood. Despite all that, he'd end up being late for work over a sock or waiting for his phone to charge. This is our life and I'm not complaining, however. It's Thanksgiving. We're in Canada. He invited his co-workers over for dinner. I could tell he was trying to impress them since they're older than him. They were talking about how he's good in everything except he's always late. He shrugged and said it's not his fault he's always late since he wakes up at 5.30, walks the dogs, gets the kids ready for school, make breakfast, clean up the kitchen, pack lunch and spend almost 40 minutes waking me up. I was floored like I couldn't believe he was talking about us. I saw the judging look on his co-workers faces and they all started telling him that their wives don't treat them this way. One of them asked me if I gave my husband thanks for the tremendous work he does but I said wait wait, this couldn't be further from the truth. I said, actually, if it wasn't for me, he'd never wake up. I'm the one who constantly wakes him and he doesn't even know how to set his alarm properly, let alone wake up to what he said he does. His co-workers got quiet and he looked shocked. I explained how hard I try to wake him up every day and they started side-eyeing him. He looked upset yet embarrassed and went off on me once they left saying I ruined his reputation and embarrassed him in front of them just to feed my ego. He said it's Thanksgiving and you ruined it for me. What's wrong with you? Then walked out. I don't know if I should apologize for the awkward dinner. Now, why would you stand there and take all those lies knowing what you do for him is quite the opposite way around. He says that and he screams like a child in the morning. Absolutely, this is an adult and he's making you look like the bad person in front of his colleagues. He set this up for himself. He's an absolute arsehole for doing so. In future, if you're staying with this guy, simply say, you set your own alarm, you wake yourself up, I'm not having anything to do with it no more, and just enjoy your peaceful life. It's up to him. If he gets himself fired, then that's his own problem. And I know it may have repercussions on your family life, but you know, he needs to take responsibility for himself here. But happiest Corgi says, not the asshole. Why are you with this man? He has no respect for you whatsoever. Neen Nit says, not the asshole. Stop enabling him. Tell him you aren't going to wake him up anymore. Ask if he wants help sending his alarm, but that's it. Make him acknowledge that he heard you say you won't wake him up with a full sentence. Really, it matters. Tell him you won't help him get ready. Then ignore the issue. Ignore the whole thing. Just take care of the kids and your own stuff. Can't add his share of the house and kids at this step. Much as I think he needs to step up. And tell him that you and everyone online are disgusted by him lying to his co-workers. Ask him why he tried to make his wife look bad by describing his own rotten behavior and assigning it to her. Tell him trying to make you lie for him was a rotten thing to do and he owes you an apology. Oat Milk Baby says, uh, your husband's clearly the asshole. First of all, he isn't even grateful that you wake him up. Clearly telling since he yells at you when you try. Second is an asshole move to blatantly make up a huge story and paint you in a bad light to his co-workers. Maybe you should stop waking him up and let him lose his job because he isn't responsible enough. And one more from Tralfamadorians Go who says your husband lied about when he wakes up. Tried to make himself out to be a super husband slash dad that does practically everything every morning. Made you look like a shit wife slash mum in the process. After you have to deal with waking up a rabid gorilla each and every morning and you are now somehow at fault for calling him out on his BS, stop waking him up. I cannot resist this bad pun and I apologize in advance, but it might be the wake up call he needs. He owes you a major apology, not the asshole.
Now, what do you guys make of this one? What would you do if you found yourself in that situation? Would you just refuse to wake him up in future? Would you just leave the guy? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and we'll move on to the next story. And our next story comes from Attic Panic. Am I the asshole for not making the Thanksgiving pies as promised? I know the title may make me seem like the asshole right off the bat, but hear me out. Here in Canada, it's Thanksgiving weekend and my family is having our dinner tomorrow. My aunt, 33 female, who has a toddler and is in the middle of moving, insisted on hosting dinner this year. Despite all of us warning her, it would be a lot to do, especially with her moving. She insisted she'd be able to handle it and the plan was to have dinner at her place. Worth noting, she refused help with the dinner. I'm 24 female, a baking and pastry art student. So I offered to make pies for dessert. My offer was taken up and I started planning and designing the pies for my family. This would be the first time any of them had seen or tried any of my baking since I've become more than a home baker. I'm classically trained in French pastries among other things and I graduate this winter. So needless to say, I take great pride in what I create and consider each bake good a piece of art and a piece of me. Tomorrow is the dinner and I was just informed that there would be no home cooked meal but instead my aunt is going to order Thai takeout for everyone. I got upset and said that not only will I not be making the pies, but I won't be attending the dinner. My parents are mad at me for not following through, but I feel massively disrespected and disregarded. Am I the arsehole? And there's a couple of edits with some relevant information, so we'll cover those straight away with edit. The plan for a turkey dinner had been in place since early September. My aunt changed the plan to take out about an hour ago. Edit 2, I'm not upset about the non-traditional turkey dinner. I'm upset my aunt waited until the very last second to announce the swap to takeout. The time I spent working on the pies for my family could have been spent on paying customers. Also worth noting that these pies are not a one day process. I've been working on them for about a week, from creating specific filling recipes, testing them out, creating crust designs, considering allergies and intolerances, all the while doing schooling and regular bakery work. And I'm still coming into this one with what's the issue here, really? I know you wanted a traditional dinner in some sort of way. And you're annoyed that, you know, it was swapped last minute to takeout. But things happen in life sometimes. And, you know, at least it was swapped to takeout. You will be getting fed while you're there. It's not the end of the world. And surely it's more about getting the family together. And by doing what you're doing and not making the pies, and your reason is like just because you don't want to know more because out of spite in some way, you're doing exactly the same thing as the aunt, except your reasoning is worse. So I think it will be a you're the arsehole in this particular situation. But unlike a regular flower says you're the arsehole, this is insane. I understand having certain expectations. I understand wanting your creations to be appreciated in a certain way, but you're missing something huge. Food is more important than just art. It's emotional. Your pies might have been the very thing that made this Thanksgiving feel special for the family. It would have actually been super cute story in my opinion. The year we ate Thai takeout and gourmet pies. I think you were a jerk to pull out like this. If anything, having takeout would have made your pies more of a standout dish. Jon Snow with an afro says you're the arsehole and your ego is on display here. Your aunt probably just wanted to do less work. That's not an insult to your baking. You could have just said you weren't going to bake anything, but refusing to go entirely is petty. Rui031 says, you're the asshole. Why do you feel disrespected and disregarded? You offered to make pies. She didn't ask or force you to do it. Things happen when you have a toddler and everyone else seems to be rolling with it's just fine. Yes, it may not be the traditional dinner, but so what? We get together to see our family, not just for the turkey. This is one time in many, many years you have ahead of you to whatever turkey day you desire. This is such a shitty thing to do. Our machine says, you're the asshole. You can't sit on your high horse while rolling in the muck. You did the same shit she did, except you did it out of spite. Complete says, no one's an asshole here. Why are you so upset? Your pies will still be very much appreciated. Your aunt has a lot on her plate right now. Sometimes plans can change last minute when you realize it'd be too much to do. And one more from Mademoiselle Borgia who says, I mean, it kind of sounds like you're pulling the same move as your aunt by backing out of a commitment last minute. I get it, it's disappointing that she isn't pulling through, but I don't know. What if others were looking forward to your pies? Sounds like you have some talent to share too. I guess I vote a mild everyone sucks here. More so for your aunt, but it also doesn't make your bailing last minute any more okay in my opinion. 
Now, what do you guys make of this story? What are your thoughts on all of today's stories if you choose to share them? A huge thank you from the bottom of my heart for being involved today and every single day getting involved with the channel. It, it just, I'm always blown away with what you do. So thank you so much. It's absolutely awesome. Stay awesome, please. And I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Take care, guys. Much love. I've been thinking that I can't let you go. I've been thinking that I can't let you go. Hey, can you hear a little?